everybody. I hope you are doing wonderful. Today is day 17 of our Defemoramba 2022 and today is rest and a bookmark. And so let's see, where did we put our packaging and index card? Let's look for that. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I covered up the paper bag on both sides and then I put that in there for now. And then I will do something on the front and back of these, but I'm not sure what yet more, so. so let's get to our rust and bookmark. So I've pulled some things now. I, I don't have much in the way of rust. I tried to kind of um, use alcohol inks on these and make them kind of rusty colored-ish, ish. So I'll see if I can use these somewhere on what I'm doing. And what I did is I die cut a piece of paper at the top, well, punched, I should say. Uh, my paper is two and a half inches wide and I used this punch on it. This is from Hobby Lobby and you can do two or sorry, one and a half, two and two and a half. And this is a piece of craft paper and my length is, let me look on my side here, about seven and three quarters inches. So we're going to work on that. Let me see if I can zoom out here just a little bit and it won't be too bad. All right. And then I have pulled some, uh, just a piece of paper here and some dictionary paper. I'm gonna use that with my die cut. The die cut I am using is this one. This is from KS Crafts. And I used the film strip portion. And I am also gonna use these stickability stickers to go in the frames. I haven't decided which ones yet. And of course I will use my trusty ink. Let me grab that. And I might do some stamping on it too. I haven't decided yet. So let's start by inking the tag base. That's always a good beginning, right? So how are you guys all doing right now? I'm actually getting some back-to-back -back filming done, which I am excited for, because it's been a minute since I can catch up a little bit. I've been doing everything at the end of one day, each every day, like one video per day, and I'm exhausted, so I'm glad to get a little more filming done today. All right, so there's that. Now, um, I want to use here this on here, and I think I'm just gonna kind of do that towards there. And I will take off a little more here. So let's grab my ruler, and I'm gonna tear a little off. I'm gonna tear a little at a time because you can always take off more, but you can't add it, right? So let's see how that goes. Okay, so um, I think, hmm, maybe I'm actually gonna cut because, let's see, where's my scissors? There's my scissors. I don't mind if it's a little bit off. Let's do that. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna take it off here. And then, you know what? I think I'm gonna kinda tear it over here. That's what we'll do. Yep, that's that's good. A little more over here. Okay, that doesn't bother me at all. Okay, put that to the side. And I have this little note over here, or this little piece of paper, because that the light above me shines on it, and I just it annoys me on the camera. So, all right, so here we go. There's that. So let's see. And I think I need okay, yeah, a little bit more down here to take off. Sometimes it's just easier to use my scissors. Okay. So does everybody have their plans set for Christmas? Are you gonna spend it with family or friends or just chilling and relaxing on your own? What's your plans? Okay, so here we go. Just gonna ink this tiger up a little bit. Okay, it's got pretty dark edges, so I don't know how much it's gonna show, but maybe a little bit. Yeah, there's a little bit. Okay, and I'm trying to decide if I want to put something on the top there to 
go under, but I'm gonna go with a no. All right, then let's get some glue. I'm gonna just go with my Beerly Arts. Okay. Okay, just make sure I get a little around the edges at least, right? So it holds it down. Get my let me get my little you know whatever you want to call this little doohickey okay and you know what I am gonna get my paper trimmer and take this down a little bit mm, yeah I'm good with that one of the things I love about junk journaling is that nothing has to be exactly precise and it still looks wonderful. That's my kind of crafting. You don't want it to look sloppy, but it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so here's one of the tricky things I think is that I want to glue this onto here, but I don't know how, what kind of glue I really want to use. You know, I think I'm going to use my, I'm going to use my, uh, I have a tape runner. It's from Crafter's Companion. And it's a dotty tape pen, and it should be good for this. Okay, it looks like that. It should be perfect for this. Because it goes around the holes. Okay. Obviously, it's not as strong as other tape pens, but see, for this kind of thing, it's perfect. Okay, so then we're gonna put that on here and I'm just gonna go like that, I think. All right, and then I am gonna turn this around to press it down. Make sure I'm getting there we go. right there. All right, and then I'm gonna cut it out. So we'll just go around that. has been so busy in my home, just normal stuff. My youngest son has work and finals for school and he doesn't drive yet, so my husband and I are his taxi. Okay, let's just move that paper to the side. And then I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take my ink dauber and just, you know, just give it a little, a little bit of that. Okay, just get, all right, I like that. And then, let me see here. I've got the stickers. I've also got, I think I'm going to use a couple of those. All right. Uh, let's see. I have butterflies. I have flowers like that. There's more than one kind of flower in here, I know. Let's see here. I see, I really like these flowers. I think I'm leaning towards those. Let's see. Leaves and pine cones, birds, which I always love. Leaves, bugs, bees, woodland creatures, more like leaf type of things. Plants, more leaves. I guess leaves are very popular. I'm gonna go with these for sure. All right, so let's fill these in. So, got to have some pink in there for sure. Does not bother me if it doesn't fit perfect, although I will cut off some of the bottom for this, I think. Let's do that. Put that in there. That's good. Okay, I like that. Let's, let's grab purple. bottom of the yellow as well. Put that in between. Nice. That one shows up really nice. Let's go for... This one's really vibrant, but I'm worried about how tall it is, but I guess I can try. Okay. 
Yeah, that needs a lot off, but you know what? I'm still gonna go for it. Put him at the top. Still some more off. Okay, no big deal. It's just paper and stickers, right? Okay. And then, uh, let's see here. Guess I'll go for this one right in that spot there. Okay. So again, I'm gonna flip it over and I'm just gonna give it a nice burnish. There we go. All right, so that is our little film strip. Okay, so our stickers are out of the way now. Now, I am gonna glue this on here. I want it on that side. Sorry, I'm out of frame there a little bit, or that side. And then I also have these, so I can put these on here. Just thinking, just kind of lining them up a little bit. Well, maybe just two is nice. Is that there? Not gonna use the third one. Okay. I like that. Does that look good under there? Mm, kind of, but I like it over there. Why do I keep going off camera? Um, I think it needs a piece of lace. I've got a couple I want to try, so I have this one, which is pretty. And that could look really nice. Actually, I, I really do like that one. It's simple and nice. Okay, let's just go for it. So we're gonna use that one. Okay. So let's just glue that down. I think just along the edge here, right? Okay, so let me get my fabric tag. And wherever it lands, it lands, right? <laughs> okay, so we'll go about there. It's always a guessing game for me. Where I end up putting it when it's got lace, when the lace has like the uh, holes in it. Because you could feed a, uh, a ribbon through this lace if you wanted to. All right, let's get that down. Make sure we go which side we ever want up. I think that's fabulous right there. Okay. I think I need a little more glue up here. It always likes to be, my fire attack always likes to be a little persnickety when I first use it that, every day. Okay, so that's good. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the fabric tack again for my film strip because it's gonna sit on top of my fabric tack and I already have it out. So why not, right? Okay, so let's line the back of this tiger. See if he'll wanna come out. See if he's warming up now. Seems like he is. I know I call almost everything a, sh a he, but I got three sons, and so I feel like that's why I call almost everything a he. Okay, so obviously my lace isn't perfectly lined up, but that's all right. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing, right? Okay, so that's what we have so far. And I feel like it still needs at least like a butterfly or a bigger flower here or something, right? right like here so let me go look for that and i'll be right back okay i found this big tall beautiful flower from my stash of die cut flowers and i'm just going to get the edges here a little bit and i think it's a tim holtz flower okay all right and then i'm going to glue that right here all right and let's do that And then I have some uh, trim that I used before in my workings for the top. So we're gonna just put this in the top. And I might want like one more small label down here. I'm not sure, but I, that I'm not sure about that yet. So I might do that later. So let's just feed this through. And just loop de loop. OK, 
Okay, and that at the top there looks fun. Oh, oh no, I almost broke it. Oh, I think I broke it all the way through. So I'm going to, what am I going to do? Um, okay, folks, what I did is I just doubled my tag. I cut another one, I cut the top, and I just backed it so that it has a full backing now. And even though the front's a little bit torn, it'll be solid. So let's try that again, and hopefully I won't Hulk smash it. Um, and I'm just going to do it like double the width now instead of four times so that I don't get so silly. And I can just cut it down if I am not comfortable with the length. All right. Oh, maybe I'll make it a bow. Let's see how that would look. Okay. Oh, I love that. Okay. Let's stick with that. So that is what we have for our rust and bookmark and I kind of totally love it so do you guys like it let me know what you guys think in the comments or if I should add anything to it or take you know well, obviously I can't take nothing away but if you like it and I appreciate you guys so much for watching thanks for watching take care bye-bye